Well, that was uh, Fiona Lally you just heard speaking to the former minister. She's an activist from the Revolutionary Communist Party who helped coordinate several encampments in support of Palestine across multiple UK universities. She joins me live from London. A very warm welcome to you. So, look, just to give that uh, exchange uh, a bit of context, you had been invited onto GB News. It is been described as a right-leaning uh, channel. Suella Bravman, definitely right-leaning uh, herself. The assumption was that this would be a mauling of your political views, but the other ended up being true. What was your experience of that exchange? Yeah, definitely. And the reason I went on is because when you watch the news in the UK, BBC News, Sky News, it's like being gaslit on a monumental scale. And I felt like it was important to go on there to say the truth of what is happening and expose these people for what they are. They're getting away with murder. Um, and, and that's why it was important to, to do that and for someone to just say what everyone is thinking and feeling already because people are so angry when they come out here with these lies. That's what they're saying in the encampments. That's what they're saying at the protests. And it was necessary to just cut through the hypocrisy that is constantly spewed out by mm. all of these politicians. What does your exchange with Suella Braverman, also for a bit of context, I mean, this is a, a former minister who was fired precisely for her handling of these uh, pro-Palestinian uh, or Palestinian solidarity marches. What does that exchange say about the difference in opinions between the public and politicians when it comes to Gaza? I would say it's a demonstration of the fact that these people are completely out of touch with the real mood in society. Palestine has become a lightning rod for all of the accumulated anger that young people and workers have towards the establishment. And it's becoming so apparent to people that this is no longer a question of just individual politicians, although Suella Braverman is a particularly hateful one um, that a lot of people have a lot of strong feelings towards. But it's about what they represent, which is a whole system, uh, the capitalist system, which is putting profit above everything else. And, and I think what's significant is that it's an international feeling as well. The main feature of politics today is people hating their own establishment. And, and that's why the Revolutionary Communist Party is, is organised actually internationally mm. and is, is trying to build sections all over the world for people to channel that anger right. um, actually into a Revolutionary Communist International, which we're launching in June, on the 10th of June. Right. Let, let me um, focus on something that happened in that exchange with Suella Braverman as well, because you said something quite powerful. You said that you believed you had the power, along with others who uh, ascribed to your opinion surrounding the war in Gaza, the power to bring down this government and a future government. Uh, we, obviously, in the UK, there is an election looming. What did you mean by that? Can you clarify your point? What I mean is that these encampments are just a, a flashpoint, the spark of what could become a much bigger mass movement. I think to take down war criminals or any government um, enacting war crimes or facilitating those, we need to mobilise students, yes, but ultimately workers. And I think workers should um, go on strike. We should look at all of the industries that are taking part, facilitating, investing in the Israeli state, in the IDF, in any form. And workers have the power to stop that. We can stop the transport of, of money, of, of weapons, and also political support to Israel. And I, thought, I think it's important that we get that message out there. We have the power to do something to stop our government. And that's my main enemy. The main enemy for me is, 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 Brit is Britain and, and the British state, I should say, and the main enemy for America American students, for example, is, is clearly Biden. And, and that's what's significant about this. And, and it can happen if we grow the encampments and get the workers in, involved. All right. Uh, Fiona Lally, pleasure to have you on the programme. Thank you. Thank you. Now, WikiLeaks.